So growing up in Lake Charles, Louisiana, it was very difficult because I'm dark skinned, right? So I grew up not, you know, loving who I was, loving what I looked like. I used to um, sit in the tub and pray, you know, God, if you can make me just the color in between my knuckles, because if you look in the color between your knuckles, you're a little lighter there. So I'm like, I'm not even asking for too much, just a little bit of something. And so my mom, when I would go to school and, you know, kids would tease me and all these different things. And I really struggled with that for quite a while. My mom would teach me these comebacks. So she would say, when you go to school, when, so whenever they call you black this, black that, you, you say, but beautiful. And I'm like, but I'm not beautiful. She's like, but you are. And I'm like, but you have to say that, mom. You're my mom. Like, you're my mom. You have to say I'm beautiful. She's like, if you say it with confidence and you say it with arrogance and you walk in and you believe it, they will stop. Try it. And I'm like, whatever. That's so stupid. Black but beautiful. Okay, whatever. So I didn't do it. I go to school. It's happening. You know, whatever. I didn't do it for like, I don't know how long. Maybe a few days, however long it went on. And one day, I just got fed up and... I heard my mom's voice just say but beautiful try it like just try it and I was like so the little boy is saying something he's calling me these names you know you black this you black that it was so many different you know sayings or whatever and I just turn around and I look at him and I say black but beautiful and he was like beautiful you're not beautiful whatever and he starts laughing I was like mm-hmm I'm beautiful so I may be black but I'm beautiful and I noticed the effect it had on them because words have power right when you say things to certain people good or bad it's going to either uplift or discourage someone depending on how you say it and who you're speaking to and the tone of your voice so when I said it and I noticed it took away some of his power for me I was like oh and I remember my mom in the background like in my head saying try it and I was like okay so over time I started to develop confidence because my confidence used to be completely under my shoe, like none, zero, zilch, nada, <laughs> zero, however <laughs> you want to say it, pick a language. <laughs> and over time, I started to believe it. My confidence started to grow and I started to walk on my head up high. I started to put my shoulders back and walk in a way that I was proud to be who I was. Now, it took more time for me to really work on myself, to really truly believe it internally and really believe it here. But I saw the power of the words and that got the bully started to get off of me. People started to be more of my friend because confidence is attractive. As people say, like, you know, when you are anointed in something, that anointing on you is attractive. So people wanted to start to be more of my friend and I had all these different people looking up to me. I became a leader and all these things just by literally starting to utter the words, I'm black, but beautiful. <laughs>